Hi guys. Okay, I know it's been like 10 years or whatever since I've done my last floss tube. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing because it's been too long. Um, so please forgive me, but I thought I would get on here really quickly. I hope you can hear me. The last time I did a floss tube, I had my camera set up with a microphone and all this stuff. And this time I, I'm using my phone. So I don't know if the sound quality is gonna be any good. I have no idea. Anyway, bear with me, like I said. I'm here to talk to you about the release I'm doing. I have my Nashville exclusive coming out. That should be coming to shops who did not uh, get it at Nashville and who are on my auto. I also have Liberty Lodge. Let me think, I have two more, a new constellation. And my mind always goes blank when I'm trying to figure out what I'm releasing. What am I releasing? My Peaceful Home. That's the other one, that's a little drum. Anyway, what I'm here to talk to you about is a new constellation. I actually taught this for Shepherd's Bush in 2018. And there's, it's, there's a whole packet that I did on it that if you attended the Shepherd's Bush retreat, the whole sampler is explained if you opened your kit. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you decided, I don't know, I don't have time for all that. Um, anyway, so if you did attend the retreat and you were in my track, you don't necessarily have, well, you won't necessarily get anything out of this video, but if you do plan on purchasing the new constellation chart, I am here to explain to you what would not fit into your pattern. It was just gonna make it way too thick to even package up. You're not missing any other chart, don't worry, just the information that goes with the sampler, the explanation of it. Hopefully, you know, I'm looking at me in my camera, but maybe I'm supposed to be looking up here at the actual camera. Anyway, no clue. Okay, if I'm not looking in your eyes, then I'm sorry. I don't know what to do about that. Um, anyway, okay, here we go. So my sampler, A New Constellation, was my kind of biography of Elizabeth Griscom, who is America's most famous seamstress, also known as Betsy Ross. Okay, let me see. I haven't practiced what I'm gonna do with this in this video, but here it is. All right, I'm gonna go through and explain to you why I chose to design what I did. I do have my notes actually. Let me find my notes. Let me scoot over here. Okay. Rather than read off this whole packet. Okay. Here we go. Elizabeth Griscom, Betsy Ross, was born into a Quaker family. So it's kind of hard to see in the video, but up here you'll see a little Quaker motif and right here. Um, she became an upholsterer after she completed her school. She fell in love with a fellow apprentice named John Ross, but he was an Episcopalian. So their marriage would have been very frowned upon by the Quaker community. She knew this, so they actually ferried across the Delaware River in 1783 to Hogg's Tavern and they eloped. This is them getting married. Then every Sunday they attended Christ Church. They sat on the 12th pew, supposedly. And sometimes George Washington even attended church. Anyway, because she married John, she was read out of the Quaker community, which means her entire history was dissolved. And I imagine that was incredibly upsetting to her family. Okay, so there is the first rectangle explained. Second rectangle, right here. John joined the Philadelphia, I'm sorry, the Pennsylvania militia, and he was mortally wounded in an explosion in an ammunition cache. Betsy did try to nurse him back to health, but he did die, and that was in 1776. Um, later in life, goodness, I can't squeeze us both in here. Not that you wanna see me. Uh, later in life, it is told that a secret committee 
approached her and asked her if she would design a flag. Let me grab my other notes. The secret committee was actually George Washington, Robert Morris, and Colonel George Ross. George was the head of the Continental Army at the time. Let's see if I can do this. Robert Morris was perhaps the wealthiest colonist. He owned a lot of land and Uncle John was John's uncle. All right. So right over here, you see Betsy is handing George a five-pointed star. Um, legend has it that they had um, drafted a flag for her to do and they wanted to use six-pointed stars, but she told them that five-pointed stars would actually be much easier to cut. Okay, let's see here. Oh yeah, we can't forget this part. During the war, Betsy was forced to share her home with British soldiers, um, but she did continue in the war effort by sewing cloth gunpowder pouches for the colonists. Okay, I need to just try to look at my sampler and remember what, what I did instead of reading my notes because I keep losing my place in my notes, so. All right, in 1777, she married a sea captain named Joseph Ashburn. This block here shows his ship being chased by a British ship. And um, they did catch him and they put him in Old Mill Prison in England where he died. His friend, John Claypool, was there with him. He was released eventually, came back to the States and he proposed to Betsy. They were married in 1783. JC is for John Clay, Claypool. JA is Joe Ashburn. So I have little things sprinkled throughout that I didn't have any room to explain in the chart. That's why I'm doing this pathetic video for you. The reason his initials and date, their marriage date, are stitched over the Liberty Bell is because she tried talking him into working for her at her upholstery shop. And he did it for a time, but then he worked for the U.S. Customs House in Philadelphia. So um, that's why I chose to put the Liberty Bell there. In 1836, Betsy passed away. And so I've designed a little headstone here for her with her death date on it. And it's Elizabeth Griscom Claypool is what the EGC is for. Um, I've also included a few more Quaker motifs in this because later on in her life she was actually reconnected with the free Quakers who actually supported the war effort. This is probably what her flag looked like um, but up oh and up here we have Elizabeth Griscom EG and JR for John Ross. As you know maybe by now this gosh I'm not even pointing it here. Here we go. Okay, sorry. I hope I hope I was even showing you some of that. E.G. J.R. Um, and then up here is Congress, the Continental Congress's. Oh boy, pet hair. Uh, their resolution for when they actually approved her flag, and it was uh, approved June Fourteenth, Flag Day. Also, my mother's birthday. Happy birthday, mom! Early. And um, what they declared was here, that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, altern alternated, what? Alternated. Oh, sorry, alternate. <laughs> I was like, what did I design? And I'm just now catching it. Alternate red and white, that the union be 13 stars white in a blue field representing a new constellation. And there you have it. I'm probably going to die a thousand deaths when I watch this video back and I'm now going on almost 10 minutes so I'm going to cut it off there. I hope um, you're not laughing hysterically at me but if you are that's okay. I deserve it. Thank you guys. And hopefully I will see you sooner than 2030. Bye.